the second half and did it. The best leaders know how to delegate. 53-yard touchdown run to go with the 40-yarder he had in the first half. George Jones. Aztecs will go for one to close within two of UNLV. Peter Holt, Prefontaine with the hold. The kick is up and it is good. So the Aztecs send a message with their first offensive possession of the second half and they close the lead. It is now 28-26 UNLV. George Jones took it and George Jones found lots of running room. I don't like being redundant, but tell me why George scored on that last missed part. tackles. I was I was paying attention, coach. Okay, thank you very much. Holt puts it in play. And that ball will not be returned, which is fine. Dent not a shotgun. Good pressure initially. Again, there's the scramble. Good hustle by Gatlin. And so Denton a number of times already here in the third quarter. Looking to the right, trying to set up the screen, and they do. Aztecs swarming to the ball carrier, but a pretty good game by Tony Burton again. Denton back to pass again. Out of that shotgun. Again, good pressure. Unloads it downfield again. This will be a touchdown. Damon Williams. Score it. such a tremendous prospect at the college level. Now, Rico Curtis was there. He just misjudged the ball. And Williams is a big receiver, about 6'3", over 220 pounds. He's more like a tight end. And lead at 35 passing yards. Graham has it for the Aztecs, and he has a face full of red. Looking towards Blackwell, who is covered. And now taking off downfield. Ball is loose, and the Aztecs have recovered he, as the handoff goes to George again. And he tries to avoid the, this time the fake to Jones. Blanton under pressure. Even it long. Childs is down there. Next to Childs turned into the, for Billy Blanton. And heavy pressure. Blackwell is open over the middle and up with the first down. And a lot more. Looking for a block. And you want work, so will this. More room for George Jones around the right side. He scored around the right side twice today. At the 10 yard line, looking for the open receiver, finding Will Blackwell inside the five yard line, down to the one yard line. They have to say, okay, I can't get any more yards. So it wasn't a touchdown, but it was a first down for the Aztecs inside the one yard line. So Will Blackwell now seven catches on the afternoon for 81 yards. Had a huge game against uh, Cal. Remember that, uh, Gill? 11 catches, 280 yards, four touchdowns. That's when George Jones was still serving his suspension. Yeah, Will will definitely be, be playing on Sundays. And I know oh. the Aztecs have to be happy that he has committed to coming back for his senior season. And I think he's making the right decision. One back is George Jones. And then goal on the five. George Jones! Down to the one-yard line. Back to the original line of scrimmage. Jordan. Back set for Billy Blanton from about the one-yard line. Jones, he's under pressure. He's going down. He has hit 14 of 15 this season. 28-yarder. Falls down. The kick is up. And the Aztecs are three points closer. Thanks to the field goal from Peter Holt. Ted likes that. The score, 35-29. Well, Holt puts it in play. 5-24. to 24. So the Aztecs got the help they needed. The Pacific Division title is theirs if they can win this week, next week against Fresno, and Thanksgiving Day against Air Force. But that's a big if right now because the Rebels are driving. They have the lead. Receivers to the far side. Denton in the shotgun. Looking far side. Has the open receiver. It is where? football game because it puts it more than a touchdown ahead. 
Denton under center. As a receiver, back of the end zone. The right side where they've had a lot of running room. And a lot more running room for George. He could go. George Jones, touchdown Aztecs. What a run. Completely second down. Fumble on the snap. The Rebels have it. At the 17-yard line. Pass goes out to the big receiver, Baker. 424 yards passing for Denton. That was a 19-yard pickup. Keep the ball on the ground. Tony, third down and 46. Out of the shotgun. They're setting up a screen. The Aztecs have it figured out. And they hold right return. Looking for the wall of blockers and finding running room. It back to the original line of scrimmage. It's Jordan. Will Blackwell. Ball goes to the running back, George Jones, up the middle, and still going, still moving. Getting an assist from Big Effort Salon. Touchdown, San Diego State. Oh, there was about 15 guys bunched up there. The pile just kept moving. The offensive lineman didn't quit. They didn't quit. They Neither did, did George. Quit. So Big Salam is 6'7", almost 300 pounds. He was pushing on the play. He makes the block initially. There goes George. Watch this. Nice, nice hole was created initially. George just burst through the hole. Now look, the defensive backs are not getting him down. Everything. Look at Salam coming in there at the end. And all the linemen, look at him just pushing. Mecham pushing, pushing the pile. Mecham was pushing. Here's the extra point. It's up and it is good. So with the touchdown, the Aztecs move within just six of the lead. As UNL he leads it for as Peter Holtz receiver in motion is Baker crossing pattern one on one coverage the reception for a first down goes out to where 12 that ball is caught by Floyd fourth quarter the Rebels are looking at a first down Kick is up. And the Rebels have extended their lead. By eight with six minutes to play. The Aztecs can score and get the two points. There's the pass on that inside screen. Look at the wave of blockers for Will Blackwell. The big guys out in front. Split to the near side. Baked Jones. Open receiver is Childs. His ten receivers split to the near side. Baked Jones. Open receiver is Childs. That happened here, of course, for the Aztecs is a touchdown. As Glenn is looking again for that middle screen. Again, the convoy of blockers. Touchdown, Aztecs. Will Blackwell. A lot of pressure on the defense. Glenn has three receivers to the far side. Drop it straight back. Under pressure, he's going down. In the second half, another handoff, and another stuff. I'm out. The Rebels talked it over. They've come up with a shotgun formation. Denton, who's thrown for over 500 yards, going deep, overthrows his big receiver, Todd Floyd. And Badejo, the inside receiver, trying to get over to the lay down of the week against Wyoming. Looks like it's George's turn. There's a flag going to Blackwell. We have Gales unofficially in double figures for tackles today. Jones, the fake, went in the pass. Push it to the back for the Aztecs. The middle screen of Will Blackwell. He has the first down. Aztecs still have life. He takes it down to the 23-yard line. And the clock toner knows he has a good kicker, one of the best in Holt. Let him earn his keep right now. Holt has kicked 14 of 15 this season. His only miss was a block last week against Wyoming. There you see the timeouts remaining. He gets it up the middle. He rocks. He did a good job to hold on down to this point. Perfect on field goals as long as in 53. So this is his kick of his career. We can update those numbers because he had a kick today. So he is 14 of 15. And from worried, he's concerned. Here's his season. He wants a whack title. That man does too. To get Noel Prefontaine with the hold. Is up. You fuckers blew it! There's Peter Holt. 
past, and they've done a good job of showing that they're a team to be reckoned with in the future. Well, they believe in Jeff Horton, and they're carrying him out to midfield to meet with Ted Toner. The victors go to sport. The final score, 42. First win of the season after 12 straight losses. Horton, no doubt, feels he has his program turned around.